Welcome to Banished. I have never played this game. I have seen maybe 40 seconds of this game played, but it looked like a simulator, and I like simulators, so I'm like, why don't we play Banished? So that's going to be good. So we can do tutorials getting started. Why not? Since I don't know what I'm doing, learning this will definitely help me out a little bit. Okay, welcome to Banished. In this game, you can control a group of exiled travelers who decide to start their lives in a new land. You'll have to help them survive. All right. Sounds like uh, a normal game. <laughs> Whoa! At any time during this tutorial, you can access the option main menu by pressing the door, which I do not see, or escape. The options main menu by... So there's a door somewhere... Oh, right here, where the arrow is pointing, and I totally couldn't see it. Or just hit an escape. From the options menu, you can save, load your game prox progress, and whatnot. Alright. First, just get familiar, move around by using WSAD. Makes sense. You can also rotate with the Q and the E. Alright. You can also um, zoom the camera in out by pressing the insert key and delete key, or use the mouse wheel. I will use mouse wheel. How about that? This is as close as you can get, and this is as far as you can get. Interesting. Interesting. I hope the game sounds aren't too loud. I might have to turn it down a little bit. Uh, you can change the pitch of the camera by pressing the page up and page down. Uh-huh. We'll not be using that. All keyboards are comfortable. Get modified. Next. Well, let's first open up this. Go to options. Go to... Music volume, UI, effect volume. Turn that down. Let's, let's put it up at 70-ish. Apply. Okay. Resume. That's still a bit up there. Let's try this again. <laughs> My bad. No, let's turn the ambient down with it. How about that? Turn this up a bit. Alright. Looks a little bit better. Now that you're familiar with the movement controls, it didn't tell me how to do that, but I pretty much figured it. Uh, the people you need to control have three things to survive. Shelter, food, and a way to keep warm. Alright, you might notice uh, the people have an icon like a house. This means the townsfolk don't have a place to live, so if they don't have homes, they're going to have this above their name. All right, you can provide townsfolk with a place to live by building homes, of course. So you can either hit this house button or press F3. We will probably be clicking the house button. So let's get started by clicking that. So we have a wooden house, a stone house, and a boarding house, which looks really cool. But we're going to definitely start off with the wooden house since we're doing the tutorial real quick. And then we'll be moving from there. Using the mouse, move the mouse to the highlighted area and press the left button. So we're going to be building it on top of the trees, it looks like. So hopefully they're going to cut those down and use the wood for it. Placing the building will leave a footprint where it is to be built, of course. To get the townsfolk to start construction, you need to collect wood and stone for the foundation. It looks like they're automatically doing it. You can cut down trees, remove rocks from the landscape by using destruction. Mm. All right. So we have remove a structure, which we're not going to do. We have uh, remove anything selected area. So I guess if you build the house on the materials you want to use, like the rocks, probably not can't do it on the rocks, but on the trees, they'll automatically cut it down. But we'll go ahead and oh, using the mouse, click one of the corner of the high right area and drag it to the other corner. So you can do more than one at a time. You can do areas at a time, which is actually pretty cool. The townsfolk will head to that area and start removing rocks and trees. While they're busy, you can place a stockpile uh, where the citizens will store logs, iron, firewood, and select storage. Yeah, okay. So, stockpile looks like a silo. Looks like we got a storage barn used to collect goods such as food, clothes, textiles, and tools. We have the stockpile used to use raw materials such as logs, firewood, stone, coal, iron, materials, stuff explanatory. 
Uh, use this to localize an area assistance, collect food, tools, or fuel. I guess they can sell it because it says market. Uh, and a trading post allows to trade resources with merchants. Interesting. I'm pretty sure we'll figure out a little bit more of that as we go on. So let's um, grab this bad boy and put it right behind the house, I guess? Well, that's doing that. Well, looks like I can't do it while I'm doing this. I'm going to turn some of this down. What is UI volume? I don't know, but we're going to turn it down a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So they're collecting the wood, and... I wonder where they're going to be putting it. Oh, this right here is the dirt pile where they just stick all their resources. That's pretty cool. The townsfolk will move the harvest rocks and trees to the stockpile where the materials are stocked and pot. <laughs> of course. The people will move the logs to the stone construction area. Okay. Well, any townsfolk will cut down trees or move materials from place to place. From place to another. I have dyslexia, so it's gonna it's gonna be like that. Some jobs require specialized workers. In case of construction, you need to assign builders. <laughs> so the gears building makes sense. So what we have here is general statistics. So this is all statistics here, overhead and map of the area. And then we get into assign a job to current citizens. Show limits. So let's assign a job. We can get some builders. So we want two builders. The builders can now begin construction on the house. Just one house is enough. You'll need three more houses to give other families a place to live once you click on the housing tool. All right. T and R to rotate. So I wonder if I do it like this, will it connect to the other house? And, uh... Because that's a weird way to, uh, put it. By meaning... Usually the arrows mean that's where the entrance is going to be. But at the same time, since it's like that, this guy's entrance is facing directly towards that one. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Sometimes it takes a while for people to do the jobs that you assign. If you're in a hurry, you can change the speed as it runs by clicking the clock, which makes sense. Try getting uh, try getting used to modifying the game speeds. And, uh, yeah, I played SimCity and all that good stuff, The Sims. So you can bap, 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 pause it. You can go up to five times, play. Oh, you can go up to ten times. Awesome. We'll keep it at five times. Let them do their farm. Once all the houses are built, the tutorial will continue. So let's put it to ten. I want to see if they're actually going to build the entrance to this house facing towards this one. Oh, they actually changed it. So it's actually facing out so they can get in. Interesting. What does this mean? Coal? So the houses are all done and went back to one. Great, you've built the houses for all the townsfolk. That may seem to be a lot of work for a few houses, but now you know how to build anything. To build any structure, place the building on the footprint. The citizens will clear the area and collect their resources to build the structure. Alright, as long as there are citizens assigned builders, they'll take care of the rest. People are going to need food, otherwise they'll starve. They can acquire food in a variety of ways. They can hunt and gather fish, plant crops, grow orchards, and raise livestock. Um, if the people are close to starving or to death, they'll have the hunger icon above their head. What does this icon mean? 
Looks like they're cold or snow is coming. Since the town near the river, here is the quickest way to generate food is to build a fishing dock, select food, which is the apple. So they are near a river. There's rivers throughout this map. So we got a four house town. So we got a fishing dock we're gonna have built. I want it here though. Hmm. But it's just to build it here. So we'll just do this for the tutorial. Then when we go off a better home, we will uh, do it that way. Most buildings that produce food or other resources require workers. You can assign the fishermen the same way that you assign. Okay, I know how to do that. Hit the gears. Uh, and then we can get a fisherman. So we have eight people to deal with. So we'll just get three fishermen. Because, you know, food is one of those things you're always going to need. So, you know, get some of those people. Oh, they want four! So now we only have four people to assign to whatever. You may notice that the icon above some of the citizens' head is a question mark. This means that the worker you just assigned does not have a place to work, and soon the fishing dock will be complete. They'll start working there, and the icon... <clears throat> so the builder... Oh, it's because the fishing dock. So like, these guys are fishermen who don't have anything to do. So we need the fishing dock so they have something to do. So therefore, that is done. The wording of that kind of confused me. Any window in the game can be mounted, moved around, of course. You can move it around, da-da-da, you can exit it. Wait until the fishing dock is done. Where's the clock? There we go. They should just have that button here all the time. Is that... We got a woman fisherman and one, two, two dudes. I thought the other ones were like three dudes. I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. People get hungry. You, you have nothing to do. Oh, you're just uh, a normal person. All right. If you build roads, people will move slightly faster as they move from place to place. Place roads by selecting roads. So it looks like that's your travels. Uh, next, select dirt. All right, let's make a dirt road. Well, let me um, turn this around so I can see how. So it's going in front of the houses. Um, I think I did it right. We may have to do it like this. Boom, boom. Aha! Let's do it all in one fell swoop. Aha! All right. <clears throat> the same builders that constructed the buildings will prepare the road after they perform the construction. The townsfolk will move faster, traveling across the roads. Pretty cool. As the town grows, the workers will produce food and other resources um, from any location. It is useful to see the overview. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So we can click the tools and we can get some statistics. Um, and over here, you can see the amount of stone stores, construction materials, food, firewood, clothing, tools. You can also you see the current population, average health, and other things. All right, cool. So average health is actually really good. It looks like we are one half of a heart away from perfect health. Um, Happiness, everyone is as happy as can be. Five stars, amount of stored alcohol. So we got some stored clothes, we got some stored food, we got some wood, we got some stone. What is this? Iron! This ain't a Minecraft! But I guess they get all that good stuff. What is this? Weather, temperature, it's 81 degrees, a nice good old heat. So I don't know what this means. If it's nice and warm. When food and other consumables goods are produced, they need to be stored somewhere until the people have been... Oh, excuse me. And until now, people have been placing everything in the cart uh, that arrived with. You can place storage barn to hold more. Alright, so we're going to now go over here. Select our storage barns. So this is for food, I guess. Ah, backwards. So it looks like you can go storage barn, use to collect goods such as clothes, textiles, and tools, and food. Stockpile, we've already done. Market, we've already went through those. So let's not do it again. Alright. 
select remove resources by pressing this bad boy. Harvest trees. So we're going to clear out another big old area. Alright, the people also need a way to stay warm for the winter, so the easiest way to do that is to cut logs into firewood. To do this, you'll need to place woodcutter for work. Use chop logs into firewood, which are used to heat homes for the winter. Alright, so I clicked that bad boy. Oh, interesting. Alright, the townsfolks are in danger of freezing to death. This icon will appear over their heads if they are cold. The people will return to their home or go to the warmest building they can. This icon will appear over homes that do not have firewood available for heating. That makes sense. So if it were to get cold, these guys are in danger and <laughs> they might freeze to death. That's not good. That's not good. Now wait until the storage. Alright, it's pretty much wait till they're done building. So we will run this back up to 10. The reserve of stone is low. Well, it has everything grayed out, so I can't actually do anything in this tutorial until uh, it ends, I guess, and then I can go off and do my own thing, but I will get some more stone. It's probably going to tell me to do that next. So these guys are going to be finishing their storage barn, which is going to be the fishermen, which are right over here, will uh, collect their fish. There's a boat that they're not using and they will store all their food in this new place. Once that is done, we will be... Looks like they're getting close to done, so they're starting on this guy already with the foundation of the stone and all that good stuff. Um, they can actually use this to build their log cutting thing where they'll store their firewood. Which is... I'm not sure what that is actually for. I mean, wouldn't you just stay, store firewood in like heaps like this? rather than using wood to store wood, but what is this to be sure? Alright, you can also assign workers by using the profession tool, um, but you can also change the number of workers and examine the details of a structure. Click the woodcutter building. Ah, so you can do it this way rather than going out to the other way. So we have one woodcutter. Um, so, are these three trees, they just keep growing and then keep cutting them down? Or what are these stumps in here? Or maybe that's where they stick the logs and they cut them on top of it. Um, Alright, a worker will now start producing firewood. He or she will move logs from the stockpiles right here. Um, and start cutting into firewood. The rest of the townsfolk will use the firewood to heat their homes. What? A trooper, lady? The town woodcutter. So this will go away in time. Now that you have the storage barn, the cart... Ugh. Now that you have the storage barn is built, the cart that the people arrived in is no longer needed. You can remove it. Anything else in the building. So use the destruction tool. So does this get turned into wood? Workers will remove... The inventory from the cart, and they'll put it into the storage bin. That's pretty cool. Um, and you want me to speed this up. Times 10. So they're taking all the stuff out of it. Put it into the storage bin since we didn't need that taking up any more space. Makes sense. So she's cutting wood. Using up all my stockpile inventory. I wonder if there's a limit. There has to be a limit to when the wood is done. With some maintenance... Oh! Rain. I think. Or is that snow? That is snow! Let's, uh... Can I turn this down a little bit? No. Uh, with some maintenance and a little luck, a small town like this will survive for many years. The children will grow up and become workers and have children of their own. New houses can be built and a town can continue to expand. If at any point you need help with something in the game, as described of how the building works, you can refer to the in-game help uh, by pressing start. By start.
doing this, so there's an in-game help menu just in case. Um, and the question mark makes sense. They have a kind of like a, a tutorial a little here. She needs some help with some random stuff in the game, so I do not need help with that right now. I'll probably figure it out as it comes, so you can read some of the references. This is it next. All right, so that was a quick tutorial of Banished, and it looks like it's gonna start me off on the next tutorial. Um, so we're gonna start that out right here.